The Sixth Sunday in Easter, Year B From the Gospel according to John You did not choose me, but I chose you. In the name of the one who chooses, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for today confront the question of how we dare to accept signs of favor from God. Seeing the Spirit poured out on the Gentiles in Caesarea, Peter asks, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? Peter's really addressing two unrecorded challenges here. One, who are these unbaptized Gentiles to be receiving signs of favor from God? And two, who are you, Peter, to be acknowledging them as believers? Peter addresses both of these challenges by repeating the process that brought him to Caesarea in the first place. Vision, visitors, and a voyage. John speaks of vision in his letter, saying that the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The circumcised believers both see and hear the testimony of the Spirit, as the Gentiles speak in tongues, extolling God. In a vision, the perception is something given to us, rather than something we seek out. We did not choose the vision, but the giver of the vision chose us. The visitors, then, are those on the other side of the relationships forged among people who have shared a common encounter. The Gentiles have received the Spirit just as we have. In order for you to be my visitor, you not only have to come to me, but I also have to let you in. But we, the circumcised, will not be able to receive these visitors unless we first go on a voyage of the heart. We will have to move, or be moved, to the new place where God is calling us to be. Jesus appoints his disciples to go and bear fruit. And the going will probably involve the laying down of our lives, or of our fishing nets, or of any of any number of externals by which we define ourselves. When our epistle and our psalm speak of victory, they're noting that we may well feel threatened without that protective layer, provided by those external forms of self-definition. What gives us victory in those moments of vulnerability is the faith that Jesus is the Son of God. For in Jesus laying down his life for us, God has won for himself the victory over sin and death. Being thus assured of God's love for us, having received the vision of that love, and having heard ourselves called friends, we're enabled to face the challenge of receiving any visitors God sends to us whether in our church, in our homes, or out and about in the world. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.